So now I'm going to go live into MindTap. So let me switch over. The first thing is that you have to log into your Cengage um, SSO account, and I'm going to just refresh it in case I timed out here. So if you don't have a Cengage SSO account, then you'll want to talk to your learning consultant about getting one. And then when you log in here, you can add whatever products you want to your resource center and then just view them or create a whole MindTap course with it, or you can talk to your digital solutions person about helping you create um, a course. And your learning consultant can uh, give you the information that you need for that. So I'm going to scroll down here. Um, I've got a MindTap collection course set up already. There's also printed student instructions. If you click on that link there that I'm hovering over, you can print it out for your students at the beginning of the term so that they know how to get started in MindTap as well. So I'm just going to click on my link. And this takes me right into MindTap homepage, which is my dashboard. And what it gives me is a learning path, and we're just looking at the, the week view right now, recent activity scores um, for anything that my students have done. And this is a demo site. I've got three students in there. And then my app doc over here on the right-hand side. And we're going to cover each one of these um, throughout this, this next hour. So MindTap is an online learning experience. It's got lots of, lots of subject areas, areas, but I'm going to be showing you those that are in the computer concepts and applications um, area right now. It just offers so much more than a normal textbook. And I find with my, um, especially my students with disabilities, they get so much more out of this online platform than they do in a reader. And you'll see that as we get into it. <clears throat> so again, um, let me just dive in. This is, uh, right now I'm looking at the week view. We've got three different views, the week view. And then I've got my unit view, which I prefer because it looks more like the table contents of the book. And then down here you've got the uh, due date manager, or there's another name for it, but I call it the date manager view. Let me go back to week view. Based on the dates that I put into my date manager, those are the weeks that come up for my course. So the great thing about this is if I teach an eight-week course or a six-week course, or a 15 or 16 week course, or a 12 week course, my week view is automatically populated based on the dates that I put into that date manager. So that's really helpful. Um, if I were to copy this over to my other instructors, they just put in their own dates, and that's the only thing that they have to change. Um, the other thing with this MyTap collection I forgot to mention in the beginning is that it also includes new MOS study guides, and I can show you some of those at the end as well. Um, the learning path views, I, I just mentioned, we've got three different views. So I'm going to go ahead right now, and I'm just going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and click over onto the date manager view, first of all, just to show you how easy it is to put a date in here. So if I wanted to change the date or add a date for something, I could just click right here on the date button and pick the dates that I want that to be due. Or I could, you know, I can have an available date and a due date um, so that it opens and closes on specific dates. I can also select an entire group of dates and then change the dates for all of them at once and apply that right here. So that's really helpful too, so you're not click, 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 clicking all the way down.